Hi there, my name is Carola and I am a biomedical science graduate and I'm currently studying medicine at Barts in the London. So I'm not properly working yet, but of course my aim one day is to become a doctor. Uh, tell us a bit more about the role in the company. So of course the role of the doctor um, is very varied. The main role is to look after patients, help them, uh, sort them out, um, but also a good doctor um is involved into teaching training uh, anyone who's more junior than them uh, as well as getting involved in research projects um i'm currently at barts which is based in whitechapel in east london which is of course a very unique area um for for the medical student to be in what attracted you to the role in industry so i've always been thinking about medicines medicine since I was a little kid. Um, I've always been passionate about working with people, helping people um, and just getting involved into into their care. Um, after high school I wasn't actually sure anymore I wanted to do medicine. I'm originally from Italy and there we don't have a culture of doing work experience before university. So um, I wasn't 100% sure what the job entailed, um, but at the same time, I was, uh, I knew that I wanted to do something that was related to human biology, uh, which is why I moved to London and studied biomedical science. But then throughout my degree, I had the chance to do some work experiences, some more clinical work, um, and I realized that that was really what I wanted to do. The thing that attracted me the most to the role of a doctor was is 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 the thought process the thinking process uh, behind starting from signs and symptoms that a patient presents with um and then through the history examination and investigation really thinking of possible differential diagnosis as well as coming up with management plans um what attracted me to parts in particular are mainly two reasons the first one is the is the area that i've already talked about um and the second is the is the community environment that we have at bars we do quite like to consider ourselves as a bit of a family um, there is a lot of support amongst students as well as with the staff we all have mentors that we can always go to whenever we have any worries concerns both related to medicine as well as personal problems what pathways are there to get into the role so of course i do i, I want to become a doctor uh in the one pathway to get there is to go through medical school um there are different courses that you can do there is the classic five six year course that uh, school leavers get into um you can also apply as a graduate so some of the universities offer shorter courses for graduate students or you can apply for a medicine course with a foundation year uh, so just doing a bit of general sciences before actually starting your med, med school um, and of course you can do intercalated degrees throughout your medical career as well which gives you a bit of an extra knowledge into a specific topic that you might be passionate about um, but really the only way to become a doctor is to go through med school. Um, what key qualities are employers looking for? So this is a really good question, especially if you're thinking about um, studying medicine and you're writing your personal statements or if you have already applied for it and you're preparing for interviews. Um, so there are two main qualities. There is a really long list of qualities and skills that employers look for in a good doctor, but I would say the main two qualities are empathy and resilience. So being able to build a relationship of trust, uh, mutual respect, but also a personal relationship with the patient, because at the end of the day, everything we do is for the patient and healthcare is very much patient-centered uh, but at the same time resilience is essential medical school is very long um, medicine as a career is also very long as well there are going to be many challenges many stressful situations and really being able to be resilient and to remind yourself of the 
reasons why you got into medicine in the first place is what is going to help you through all the difficulties and the challenges and in terms of the skills we look at uh, general skills like good communication skills which is both verbal direct verbal communication speaking to people non-verbal um, as well as uh, so your body language as well as being able to listen um, teamwork skills being a good team player and team leader and then just general organization skills and time management skills Describe a typical week at work. So I'm currently in my third year of school, uh, which is which means I've just started my clinical years. So my teaching is mostly uh, an integration of clinical placements, uh, where we learn the more practical things of the of the job, as well as lectures. So right now with COVID, we have had all our lectures at the beginning of the year, and right now we're just really focusing on the placements. So on Mondays and Tuesdays, those are my hospital days. Um, I'm currently doing a placement in general surgery at Queen's Hospital in Romford. Um, and my days really are a mixture of theater, ward rounds uh, in the mornings and helping the F1s and F2 doctors with their jobs in the afternoon or different types of clinics. Um, Wednesday is my teaching day so Queen's Hospital organized some teaching for us uh, we call it case-based learning so we start from a case scenario a patient coming in uh, presenting with specific symptoms specific history so we think about the type of questions that we want to ask them uh, the examinations that we want to do um, as well as the investigations that we would do um, and we think of possible differential diagnosis and come up with a management plan as well, which is really helpful. It's very practical. Thursday is my GP day. So I spend the morning in a GP practice in Romford, um, doing phone consultation, phone and visual consultations, as well as some physical ones with patients. And then in the afternoon, again, we have a tutorial with the GP based on case scenarios. And then Friday again is my teaching day. So um, again, Queen's Hospital organizes teaching for us in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we have time for independent studying. And then in my free time, so in between the placements and uh, the teachings, um, I do work with, uh, I do work as a student ambassador for the university, as well as for um, the Center of the Cell at university, which is an educational charity um, aiming to reach out to students, children and uh, high school students in the population trying to um, get them closer to the STEM subjects as well as helping the students that are applying to medicine uh, so just really being a mentor for them. Um, I also volunteer with um, in, in the community uh, with local schools with for, for the same reason really helping students with whatever they need. Um, and finally the advice that I would give my um, 16 or 17 year old self or to any 16 or 17 year old is really to take every opportunity that you can to get experience to learn more about the career that you are interested in um, in medicine really take every opportunity that you can to do work experience volunteering as well as talking to doctors and other healthcare professionals about what the job is really like um, there are many, many pros. It's a very rewarding career, but it's important that you know the downsides as well. Um, and once you're sure that this is really the pathway for you, then go for it. Prepare, prepare hard for your interviews, and I'm sure you will do amazing. Thank you for listening.